Our third topic in chemical kinetics is all about the experimental methods. After all, if you want to do chemistry, you won't get far just sitting and reading a book of theory where we'll add base science almost more than any other. You will be able to suggest and justify which experimental methods can be used to determine kinetic parameters of a reaction. Things like titration, the absorption of light, reactant mixing times, flow mixing, flash photolysis, and the rest. You will be able to give a brief explanation of each of these methods and state their limitations. You'll also be able to derive integrated rate laws, something I mentioned earlier, but in this case, we're actually going to go into the mathematics of creating them. Finally, you'll be able to define the meaning of half-life in terms of kinetics. You probably heard this term apply to isotopes in nuclear physics. It means the exact same thing here. So you'll be able to derive and calculate half-lives for zero, first and second order reactions. This topic is all about experimental lab chemistry, how you'd actually go about doing these experiments in the lab. So make sure you can revise and understand topic one, which was about the rates of reaction, because here we're finally going to apply it.